Here's a problem where we're asked to find the pH and pOH of half molar solution of acetic acid, HC2H3O2. Acetic acid is often written CH3COOH because it has this Lewis structure. A COOH unit is very common in chemistry. That's called a carboxylic acid. And you will often see carboxylic acids written out that way, COOH. So just because it doesn't start with an H does not mean that it's not an acid. Here in this form, it's written with the H first like you're used to. The key thing here is this is a weak acid. It's not one of the six strong acids. A weak acid has a Ka, and the Ka of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. A strong acid would have a Ka that's infinitely large. So when you write the reaction of acetic acid with water, just like always, the pro the proton gets donated from the acid to the base. One product you make is hydronium, and then the other product is the acetate anion. Set up your ice chart. The initial molarity, 0.5. Water's a liquid, so you can cross that column out. The reaction has to go to the right. And now to solve this ice chart for X, we need to know the Ka. And that would be products divided by reactants. Weak acid, so it has a small value of Ka, which means this ice chart is not making very many products. That means the x value is relatively small. So we can either use the quadratic formula or we can use the approximation. If you use the approximation, x turns out to be 0 0.003, which is less than the 5% check, so we didn't have to use the quadratic formula. And check back on the ice chart, X stands for the concentration of hydronium. So that X value will let us calculate the pH. And the pH will work out to be less than 7. We knew this had to be acidic. When you put an acid, like acetic acid, in the water, the pH has to turn acidic. POH can be found by subtracting from 14, and you get a value of 11.48.